Hi loves, Renee here. Hey guys, it's Renee here. So this is super impromptu. I am about to go on a marriage retreat with my husband. I packed all of my favorites away, right? The things that I know are gonna work for me, that I love, that I need to have packed with me because I'm going on a trip. And then I redid my makeup, like I did my makeup with my B-list, my B-list makeup. And that's not uh, to say that there's anything wrong with these products that I have today or that I use. It's just, they're not the items that I throw in my bag when I'm traveling. These are the items that kind of get left behind, but are still the ones that I pick out of my collection to use. So I did my makeup with it today and I want to show you really quickly what I use. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So I do all the same steps, primer, uh, foundation, concealer. I literally have multiples of everything but these items are the items that i don't typically travel with the things i travel with are my go-to's my absolute favorites and then these are the items that i have i do love but they're not the ones that i take on a three a day for a trip so for primer today i use this so this is the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer now i did use uh i forget what it's called i do a little research and put a picture of it on the uh on here for you guys to see but i do love it it is like a mm, one of them your makeup's not going anywhere um type of primers the consistency is like a clay kind of but it works it, it keeps my makeup where it is and i don't really get too oily with using this so i only pull it out though occasionally right so for that foundation i have the matte and poreless by maybelline i am in the color 365 nutmeg so i have that and i mixed it with the infallible pro mattes for l'oreal now you guys know that this one i actually used for my wedding this was my go-to but i actually have been using the it's not morphe is it morphe no i'll put a picture guys because i don't have it um it's in the same kind of tube though um it's a newer one i don't want to i want to say it's not morphe though is it nars makeup forever it is the makeup forever uh velvet matte something like that so it's in the same type of tube something about this tube i've been that's been my go-to since i purchased it like i haven't really used anything else but for today i picked out these two to use and i love it um this one's a little bit lighter so i mixed the two because this weather is kind of crazy right like it's not cold it's october the end of october and it's like 80 degrees so for uh, concealer i use the born this way and i have the color maple and butterscotch so the maple is like more uh a deeper tone and then butterscotch is lighter so i just mix the two mix the perfect concealer um i love this it is a little watery so i have been using the fenty that is the one that i typically travel with it's just a thicker product i just like the way it blends but i absolutely love these have repurchased them before we'll continue to repurchase them but i thought it was interesting that i i don't pick these to travel let's continue to go so for uh setting powder i have the fit me in the color 360 cocoa this is the uh, matte and poreless pressed powder i love this stuff i've had it for quite a while but i have been using the makeup forever i've been, been using that ever since i got it the pressed powder and that's typically what i travel with now the makeup forever is a little bit deeper i probably during the sale will get like the next shade up the lighter shade um because i use it underneath my eyes but i i love it guys all right so for bronzer i have the hula toasted now i am super glad that they made a deeper um version of this but i feel like it's too deep for me oh it is super deep so i have to go like super light-handed it's more of like a contour than a bronzer but i still pull it out every now and then and then i just softened it up with the morphe this is a vlogger um the brawl tour whatever it is it's just two bronzers but these are too light so i kind of mix them together and it makes a decent you know little situation on my face but yeah, I, I don't really pull these out all the time. So for blush, I love blush. And my favorite is uh, the e.l.f. blush palette. 
I just, I cannot get enough of that. Like they probably don't even make it anymore. But I have been using the, um, what is, who is it, Juvia's Place? This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I want to get the other one because these colors are kind of light. So I kind of mixed it together. Um, but I'm going to see if they have like a more berry shade uh, blush palette because I do like Juvia's Place, but I don't really pull it out. Uh, <laughs> and then for loose powder, I use the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is in Cashew. I do use this pretty often um, when I am doing my makeup on a regular basis. But what I'm taking with me is the Kat Von D. It is the uh, brightening powder, but it's like in a more yellowy tone. I really love that. It's actually more pinky. Uh, it's like a peach. And that just works really well, even if they take flash photography. So I have that one. Um, now my... Mascara and all that stuff is really just things I forgot to put in my bag, but I'll show you guys anyway what I'm loving. I have the Monster Big from Lancome, and then I have the Perversion from Urban Decay. These are two of my favorites, and I will be putting these in my bag. Also, what I forgot to put in my bag, right, is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Brow MVP. It's kind of like a wax that you put on your brows. I don't get my brows done, but it just kind of keeps everything in place, allows you to kind of style them and make them nice and cute, and they stay like that. So I do love this, and I'll probably grab another one during the sale. Um, and then this is just what I'm wearing on my lips. It is the Tarte uh, Lip Pencil and Wine. I just have this all over my lips. And I have a little bit of the NYX in 07 Sandstorm in the middle just to lighten it up a little bit. So I thought it was interesting, guys, to show you uh, what I use periodically, right? They're not B-list. There's nothing wrong with any of these products. I love them. I absolutely do. But they're not the products that I typically travel with. But they're the items out of the rest of my collection that I choose to do my makeup on uh, when they're the only option I have. And this happens often because I am not the type of woman that unpacks as soon as she get here. That stuff is going to sit in the bag for like three days, okay? So if in those three days I need to do my makeup, I'm probably going to use these same products. So they're great products, but they're just not my go-tos anymore. Hmm. So I hope you guys like this very, very, very quick video. I'm going to go finish right getting dressed and uh getting ready so we can go and i will link down below the vlog it'll probably be up before this video if not then whenever it's up i'll link it down below how about that so i uh, thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video and i am renee and i hope you subscribe okay